Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we took a look in the town of Darman, which is actually kinda harsh with its rule. Our main quest is to go to the town of, to the city of Vlosk up there and uh, deal with some food hoarders. But before we do, eh, let's take a look in the back here, where we know there's some scribbing people, dealers. Whatever. You smell smoke and rot. These are Darman's trash pits. All of the refuse of the city is brought here to be piled up and eventually burned. Rats and other smaller vermin pick the trash for sustenance. You notice that there are quite a few sets of recent footprints in the slime. Several humans, or Nephilim, or something similar, have passed through here recently. Using your knowledge of cave lore, you note that most of the tracks go to the west. Well, if most of the tracks go to the west... Let's take a look to the east, and kill these few random rats that happen to be uh, back here. And there we go. That was easy. I mean, they were kind of all stuck in a row. Let's see. Down here is... some herbs. So, up here must be... there's the path down. Okay. Well, we're on the west side, so let's take a look around the west bank first. When you enter this chamber, you are stru struck by a powerful medicinal odor tinged with the strong smell of rot. Someone was recently using a crude alchemical workshop here, boiling down leaves and then concentrating the goo. Then there was a fight. Blood was spilled. And the rats came in. Alright, rats it is. Tough rats, too. Can they even get through? Kinda. Hmm. And it was at this point that I hit the mute button in order to disguise a cough so that it didn't show up on the audio, and I didn't quite turn it back on. And didn't realize that for five minutes. So, since that took up approximately, oh, what was it? Two conversations and a fight, I am re-recording it right here and right now. With the various things that we found in here, including, well, honestly, not very much in this area. <coughs> and then... All the way over to the other side. Professionalism at its finest, people. Professionalism at its finest. There's a person sitting here, quiet and dazed. The eyes stare straight ahead. Bits of drool hang from the lips. Faint green stains are visible around the mouth, and there is a harsh medicinal smell. It is unsettling. You walk quickly by. I may have actually up upgraded him during the thing. I don't quite remember. You enter a small shop, but not the sort you expected. The guards outside were your first clue that something is not right. Two people sit on the benches by the west wall. They hold flasks in their hands and are chewing slowly on something. They twitch slightly, and their eyes flicker constantly and nervously around the room. By the east wall, a man sits behind a desk. He seems calm, but his hand never strays far from his blade. He isn't happy to see an Avernite soldier here. Welcome, friend. I am Zeleny. I mean you no harm, and I hope the same from you. We keep to ourselves back here. We aren't hurting anyone. I suggest you just keep calm. Stay out of there. He points at the southern door. Hmm. Zeleny bids you to sit across from him. There are several glass vials sitting on his desk. Each contains a thick green goo. It looks like leaves, boiled down and concentrated. You feel Zeleny's guards and customers staring at you. That's scribbing herb. I don't hide it. It's the actual stuff. From seeds brought from the surface and grown here. We sell it. I'd even sell it to you. You'll find that it gives you a powerful advantage in battle. But first... Well, you're a soldier. I know how low a soldier's pay is. I want to make your life a little easier. He extends a leather pouch to you. The coins inside jingle slightly. Take it. With my compliments. I don't want your money. 
Zeleny shrugs and puts the pouch away. I admire the honesty, I suppose. As long, of course, as it doesn't affect your sanity, and cause you to do anything very dangerous. Now, is there anything I can do for you, soldier? You should know, there are other ways you can earn my money. Alright, let's hear your sales pitch. Tell me about Scribane. Scribane herb, properly cleaned, chopped, and boiled down, is one of the greatest achievements of the alchemical art. Now that a way has been discovered to grow it in the underworld, all Avonites can enjoy its benefits. Its use kills hunger pangs, which alone is a great benefit. But for a warrior, it can provide so much more. In fact, don't take my word for it. Experience its wonders for yourself. Try a vial with my compliments. He hands you a small glass vial full of green goo. What can it do for me? A single dose of Scribane will make it seem like time itself is twisted to benefit you. Your foes will seem to slow down, and you will be able to strike past their defenses with ease. If the Avonite army could get enough of this rare and precious herb for every one of their soldiers, I have no doubt they would do so. I bet. And what negative effects are there if I take too much? Negative effect? Those, of course, are only unfounded rumors. Scribane herb is a pure blessing, and you would be foolish to think otherwise. No offense. You look over at the slack-jawed herb eater sitting by the east wall. You doubt that Zeleny is being entirely honest. Scribane is grown down here. Where? Ah, that is something of a secret. Not even I know. The herb is only brought to me after it has grown. Recently, we could boil it down here ourselves. There is a workshop of the, on the other side of the lake. Sadly, due to our misunderstanding and the resulting argument, nobody is working there now. Yeah, we saw. Well, I'm sorry, but the mayor sent me to kill you. And I'm going to. Zeleny is not surprised. He is on his feet, blade in his hand, in a moment. His guards run after you. His ur-battled customers, seeing their dealer threatened, want to take part in the melee. Alright. We'll summon a beast in order to assist. Oh, there goes the little minion we summoned. What a fantastic help he was. There we go. Yeah, you know what, we'll save him until we finish off his minions. That would work, I think. You need healing. There you go. And there we go. Hey, you know what? You can focus on him now. Warriors can focus on him. Healing. Ow. If you don't mind, Zeleny, I'd like you to die. We don't approve of herb sellers here. No scribane in this area. I'm afraid, peacefully, you are going to end up going very painfully. As you can see. And no assistance from any of your allies. And we don't want any of your remainder, but I won't even turn it, silly my hands with it. Anything you have back here? Not very much. Some coins, more scribane, and more coins. Alright. And it looks like those guys don't aren't actually hostile, thankfully. Hopefully they don't get too angry when they realize that their dealer is dead. Anyway, around we go to go turn this quest in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, in here. Uh, I found the Scribane merchant. He is dead. Mayor Aznavour nods. Then you have struck a blow for the law and for freedom. I am sure now that those enslaved by that wretch's goods will soon shake free. He gives you a large pouch of gold coins. For your effort, I may have misjudged you. You are a competent servant of Avernum, after all. Is Dalman free of Scribane yet? No, not yet. Somehow new sellers have come in to replace those that you eliminated. 
No matter, we will kill them too, and so on, until Darwin is free of those scum at last. I'll be going now. Yes, yes. And about there was when I realized that I had that muted. So, I now return you to our video already in progress. Well, let's uh, do level ups. Uh, let's see, Michael, I'd like to give you more strength. Hmm, anything that costs four. You do need more melee weapons. Oh, what the hell. Put the point in melee weapons. And you, Amar, save up, I want to improve your intelligence. That'll be fine. Oh, what the hell. One point in spellcraft. Okay. I'm sorry about the awkwardness that probably just happened. Anyway, we could look at Blast, but I don't want to do it so soon. <sighs> no, no, we'll do it in the next episode, because we've already used up a bit of time here. Uh, there must be some others. Some other things we can do. Hmm... Actually, there is a bit of spell that I want to get. Where's the... There's the pylon. Just need to go to Patrick's Tower to get it. Of course, we have some things to, sp to sell anyway. There we go. Simple enough. Oh, any other shades? Ah, there is one in the cavern below here. It seems to have been attracted to an unusual crystal formation. It has not moved, but it might decide to. I'd prefer if it was removed. I'll have the gate to the cavern unlocked. Be wary, it seems like a powerful specimen. Probably is, but I'll see what we can do about it. And you can have some flawless crystals. Alright, that's all of them. Can't open that. And it is located in here. Alright, let's see. Where is this spirit? Down in here, I see. There it is. Crystal spawn. Well, we're taking a couple crystals around it at least. Alright, test all of our buffing spells, just to be safe. Alright, enter combat. Let's see what we can do about this thing. Hopefully we can deal with it. It's weakened. Okay, so far so good. Now we just need to not die. As you engage this powerful shade in battle, the crystals around it begin to glow and pulse with energy. Perhaps the shade was attracted to these stones. Or maybe they created it. Either way, wisps of light begin to emerge from the crystals. They float toward you, little sparks of lightning flying from them in all directions. Ah, there's the danger of this thing. Oh, we killed it. Okay. Okay, we got this. That was much easier than I expected. Aside from the fact that they do a lot of damage. And stun. Okay. Fortunately, we were able to kill all those. Good. And a jeweled wand. That's something. I don't think it dropped anything. Oh no, it did. Shadow Band, which is actually pretty impressive. Hmm. Sure, take it. Alright. 
Good news. Ahem. Good news. The crystal spawn has been destroyed. Has it? Well, one, one less thing to worry about before I depart. And I suppose you will be wanting some payment for your aid, yes? I suppose. I'll have one of the storms downstairs unlocked for you. I hope that is sufficient. There's little else we can spare. It should be. Thank you. Alright, what have we got in here, hmm? Fine steel? That is fine. You inspect this magical device. It is inerrant and covered with dust, probably waiting for someone to repair it. Steel gauntlets. Disruption wand. We actually already have one, so that can be sold. And we have an energy elixir. And a healing elixir. Okay! That's pretty good. I approve. And we have a few small things we can sell. Bam, 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 bam. Alright. Now to Patrick's Tower. To buy the spell I desire. Let's see. No, not you. Are you the one who sold the spells? No. Who was it? Was it you, I think? It was. There we go. Spend a lot of coin, but it's done. Can we look around in here? Nope. Can't go in there. Okay, then. That done. Uh, you know what? I'm curious. I am indeed curious. That is the wrong spot. I want to see now if we can kill that wraith. It's incredibly dangerous and incredibly powerful, but maybe... Maybe... I'll try it. Probably a bad idea, but I will try it. Actually, it's kind of right outside here, so... Let's go find out. Which one was it in? It was in... I think it was in this one. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was in here. Yep, this is it. Alright. Let's see what we can do about this thing. All we can survive is hits. The Crypt White, its brittle bones shattered by your blows, begins to fall apart. The creature crumbles into dust. All that is left is a faint nimbus of light. The light doesn't fade, though. Instead, it floats over to one of you, settling in your mind. In an instant, you lose control of your actions. Or not. <laughs> yeah, that works. And... Crypt White is regenerated. Let's try and deal with these skeletons as quickly as we can. Oh, fire again. Nice hit. Okay, we might be able to do this. That 
I didn't get him. No matter. Nice. Okay, I think we can do this. That was close. And low on energy. Come on. Again, lose control. Ah, jeez, him? Great. On the plus side, he's out of energy. And it's regenerated again. And I have no idea how long until that wears off. This could be bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's worn off. Good. Yeah, I think we can do this. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Right. Ooh, that was a good hit. You are doing damage, but we are surviving. Keeping my mages in the tunnel there is actually helping a lot. They're not getting hurt when he does that big... that big attack. Excuse me. Come on. There's a good hit. Come on, come on. Again. Lose your God damn it, him again? Fine. Drink that. And again, it's regenerated. Why does it keep going for him? Uh oh, that's too close. It's way too close. Come on. Ow. Almost out of energy, but we are killing them. This is a long fight, but we can and are doing this.
Really? You ran out too? Come on. Heal yourself. Oh, she needs healing. Everyone needs healing. As long as she stays back, she should be fine. Come on. Big hits, big hits. I think we may have this now. The Crypt White, its brittle bones shattered by your blows, begins to fall apart. However, its efforts defending itself from you have drained too much of its energy. The foul creature collapses into a pile of dust. The cave instantly feels a little warmer. Well, that took a while. Ruined Greaves, that's pretty good. Stun and energy resistance. Uh... Sure, instead of the Leather Greaves. And we got an emerald from it. Nice. Alright. That's pretty good. I wonder if we can look in any of these. No, uh, probably not. Oh, we can look in that one. With spiders. Not just spiders, but Aranea! Kill him. Hey, kill a bunch of spiders, it's fine. Not taking anything out of the tombs. Okay. That is... Not too bad. Now we just gotta go report in. Commander Mary, who is pleased to hear of your success hunting the crypt right. White, you receive a brand new halberd and a generous pouch of coins. 8 to 32. Not that great. Nothing else on there? Alright. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. This episode had a bit of a length to it. Next episode, we'll find our way to, uh, to Bloss and see what we can do about it. See what we can do about the hoarders that are going on in there. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is... Uh, Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play. And... Rika gets an improvement to intelligence. And I shall see you all next time.